All right, y'all, ain't no half stepping with Marcus J is live. We are in the building. About to have another outstanding live show. Live from the Dana Legacy and that radio, the flagship show. And we have probably the most packed house we've had in a very long time. Very happy to lead off the show with an outstanding event we've got coming up that we are going to be a part of here at Legacy Internet Radio. Later on in the show, we'll be talking about the comments made by the President of the United States and the impact that it left on the sports world. And then later on in the show, we will have our Diva Diaries hosted by our sister Dana Pooh Davis. Fourth Monday, you're listening to the flagship show of Legacy Internet Radio. It's called Ain't No Half Step. Marcus J is live right now. Open your ears, strap on your thinking cap, socially conscious talk that's entertaining with a dash of humor and the top sports stories of the week. It's time for Ain't No Half Steppin' with Marcus J. Sellers has Jordan, Jordan with two seconds to go, puts it up, it's good at the buzzer, Michael Jordan has won it for Chicago. Manning, lobs it, Burris alone! If they lying, then they must be half stepping. Ain't no half step when Marcus J is live. We in the building. Be down with us tonight at 804 402 2893. Be down with the flagship show. Heard live from the den of Legacy Internet Radio. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who is rocking with us tonight. We appreciate those folks that are checking us out on Facebook Live and those folks that are checking us out on tune in and those folks that are checking us out uh is uh, on our replays on youtube itunes stream all the places that you can find us y'all rock with us we roll with y'all we appreciate it as i had stated a few minutes ago we got a packed house and so i want to make sure before we get into any of the specifics i get the crew appropriately introduced and so before i introduce my special guest for this segment let's get the the sit-in crew to talk with us you heard her last week and you'll hear her whenever we have an opportunity to get her in here she is our resident millennial our sister (laughs) our sister q boogie what up it's one of my favorite podcasts i'm a baby yes a baby <laughs> you was a baby you was a baby yeah yo check out another round it's one of my favorite podcasts and hey, you know what's crazy <laughs> you know what's crazy i'm gonna tell on you right when we uh before we before <laughs> we, we went live you. yeah i'm gonna tell on you before we went live and we were doing kind of the the, the setup mm. uh we, <laughs> we were playing a song from the year you was born and i'm gonna this joint <laughs> I mean, I'm in here getting it like ah, da, 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 and and I was like, and you know this? They at me like, hey, D- you know when this came out? <laughs> <laughs> the year you were born. <laughs> yes sir, yes sir. You were like what? Eighty seven, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was real dope. It, it was real dope. Ain't no how to step on Marcus J. Keeping the mic around, going around the room. Uh, I want to get in the one of the newest members of the Legacy Internet Radio crew. Uh, his show is airing every Saturday afternoon, 3.30 p.m. It's called A New Balance. My brother Sean Love is here. What up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Outstanding. How you What's doing? good, ambassador of legacy? <laughs> you know, I think, Radio. you know, what's crazy about that? <laughs> when you said that the other day when we were doing A New Balance on uh-huh. your show, which was an outstanding show, by the way. Outs- oh, outstanding, outstanding yeah. show. Uh, but when you called me that, I just kind of looked at you like, word? <laughs> ambassador <laughs> you know what I mean? like every every time 
you know, I'm on, you know, in the room with one of you guys' shows, I always get like a new cool name. Yeah. You know, like I've been called the Emperor, the yeah. Ambassador, the uh, what else y'all call me? Um, I don't know. Just a whole bunch of stuff, which is cool, man. It's flattering. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. You, yeah. you doing all right? Yeah, yeah, man. Just, you know, going through the shift, you know, from the job to here. You right. know what I mean? No, I could dig it. I could um, dig it. Yeah, I'm happy to be here and get to see all the faces. Well, we look, I mean? we're, we're, we're honored to have you, man. Your show is dope. You dope. So uh, Thanks, I man. look forward to having your dope self participate in the show tonight. Right. Uh, your homeboy, your ride or die, your, you know, your, <laughs> yeah. your legacy and that radio mentor. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm happy to have him. We did a live show for his show on Friday night. You can hear him right here live from the Dan Legacy and that radio on Friday nights. He is the Couch Coach, Couch Coach Live. What's up, Coach? I'm good, man. I'm good. Good to see you, man. <laughs> you know what I like too. about you, man? Yeah. You might be one of the most pleasant people I know. You always got this big grin on your face. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and that's just yeah. real dope because, you know, yeah. a lot of folks – just me mug all the time. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of one of them I'm people. Like saying, <laughs> right. time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like a natural yeah. thing. It's like, I don't, you know, I don't yeah. walk around yeah. like trying to me mug. It's yeah. just hey. like, that's, yeah, that's the, way my, <laughs> the way my face is set up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they say it takes a certain amount of muscles to frown versus smile, but yeah. I guess my face get yeah. a workout there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but it's a, uh, it's an honor to have you, man, yeah. and we're going to have an opportunity to really talk to you about uh, some of the social stuff that goes with the sports, and uh, we know as the couch coach, we know that's your lane. That's one of the reasons why I wanted you here, so I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Indeed. Every fourth Monday of the month, I have an opportunity to bring my little sister in, and it's real dope because she's been with me and Legacy Net Radio and the show since even before we created legacy on that radio so it's always real dope when i look across the table and i see my little sister dana pool diva author charisma up in this joint what up sis hey what's going on how you are doing today i'm doing well you know, how are you doing outstanding today? like the song <laughs> outstanding okay dun, dun, no, dun, Make me wanna shout. I'm sorry. I had a moment. I had, you had a moment. You were not going to. But you ain't going to go there with me, though? For real? You just going to leave me out there on a the limb? I gave you this nice if you introduction. Turn, if you turn my music up later, then yeah. I, I already you told back. you why I can't do that. You, see, you always got to mess it up. You know I don't what I'm care saying? about technical difficulties. Make it work. Make it happen. For real? You gonna yep. just do that? Yep. Oh, you just wait till we go on break. You just <laughs> you just wait till we go on break. Hey, I'm gonna Scott, come across that say. table so and make mean one. faces at you. And you know I'm good at that. Yeah, so. you're very good at it. Yeah, well, it's good to, <laughs> it's good to see you. And I uh, appreciate you being here every single fourth Monday of the month. Bring us our relationship segment, the Diva Diary. So we thank you. Thank you. Word. So, one more guest that I need to get introduced so we can get on with it. He's my big brother. He is one of the hosts of a show on Wednesday nights. Y'all know him as Big Bro Joe, one half of hashtag brother, sister shenanigans. What it do, homie? Yo, what's good? What's good? Chilling, man. It's oh, good to see you. How you doing? Oh, you know Dapper as usual. Yeah, yeah. You you, you know. bow you bow tie pimping the day. BTP, bro. <laughs> yeah. BTP, yes, bow sir. Tie pimping. Yeah, That's how and, we do it. and you got the George Jefferson vest on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go ahead man. and put. Go ahead and yeah. see the socks though. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need you to put that in the dry. I'm gonna be wearing that next week. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's good to see you, big bro. Yo, thank you. You doing something special uh, this Wednesday, and you have some special guests uh, that you want to have a conversation with, and we're going to rap to them. And uh, I look forward to that. And so I'm going to take turn the con over to you for a little while, as they say on Star Trek. You got the con, brother. Yo, I appreciate that. Yo, yeah, yeah. Well, yo, like I said, it's your Mike, uh, Marcus J. Sit there and tell y'all, it's your boy, Big Bro Joe. Every Wednesday night, live with my little sis, Kim, for hashtag brother, sister shenanigans. Where we give you, uh, let me see, an uh, urban perspective on family life and other things from my sister and I's point of view. You know, we don't always get along, but we love each other to death. Sometimes we end up fighting about it, but it'd be all right. You know how that is, you know. But I do have some special guests with me tonight. I want to introduce you to you from Cognac and Cufflinks, Miss Christy Durham. Hi, Christy. Hi, how are you? I'm um, well. How are you today? Doing just great. All right, all right. And she got her, her partner in crime, I'm going to sit there and say, Miss Lachelle Jackson. 
That's right. All right. Ms. Jackson, how are you today? I'm doing terrific. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, Chrissy, I'm going to let you take over. I'm going to tell you, uh, tell us a little bit about cognac and cufflinks, and then we'll get into what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. Okay. So Cognac and Cufflinks is a professional networking group for men. Um, we started at the beginning of the year, and a group of four of us got together. We went to um, Mona's and sat together and smoked a cigar and just talked about some different things that we haven't seen here in Richmond. Um, I've done events for years, and a lot of events that I've done have always been um, featured towards and catered towards women, so I thought it would be different to throw a little switch on it this year and start something new and have something targeted for the guys. Well, that's a wonderful thing because, you know, we do get left out a lot. You, you know, the, Marcus J., you know how the ladies always take over stuff and, you know, the dating pool diva do her thing. I, I've never seen the dating pool diva had none for, for Big Bro Joe and the fellas. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to say that right now. I'm just going to put that out. You I gonna... always do stuff for the fellas. Okay. All right. Well, you know, always. my bad. I'm going to do it tonight. Oh, you uh -oh. are? Yeah. Okay. It's for right. us tonight. That's for us? No, no not the whole thing. Oh, I, I can mean. dig it. No, oh, okay. All right. You get Pardon it. Me. <laughs> well, I can dig it. <laughs> well, like you said, you know, Cognac and Cufflinks, we're going to be out at Bar Louis yes. um, this Wednesday. Yes. We're going to be doing a live show of Hashtag Brother Sister Shenanigans in conjunction with Cognac and Cufflinks, but we're going to be out there for a purpose. And the one thing we like to do here at Legacy Internet Radio is make sure that we are out in the public doing public service things. Mm -hmm. You know, not just for the minority community, but for everyone. But, you know, we want to make sure that we're stressing and taking care of our folks. Mm -hmm. um, Ms. Lachelle, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and how did you get involved with Cognac and Cufflinks? Well, um, I am a photographer, so I am Christie's and Cognac's and Cufflinks official photographer. So oh, photography. <laughs> Oh, so I can take some pictures? Yes, of course. Oh, shucks. Sure. As good as I you need look. those headshots, professional headshots done. You need to come Oh, no, see no, no, me. no. Yes. No, headshots? Yes. I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, Couch Coach, I'm going to get you on that one. We'll going to get him on there. <laughs> we'll get some headshots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so photography. See, and that's what we need. We need to make sure that we're branding ourselves and marketing ourselves properly, and that's what the... Uh, presentation at uh, Bar Louis on this Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. will be about. Um, we'll be out. Uh, and we're also doing it for charities. Am I, am I correct? Absolutely. Every single Cognac and Cufflink event we do is for charity. All right. See? So I'm glad to have you a part. You know, when you come into the den of Legacy and Internet Radio, if you come in here and you're doing something positive, Marcus J. always says you're part of the family. So... You know, we just want to make sure that you feel comfortable. You sitting back here in the Sham Pipple room. They watching the lava lamps go up and down. Yeah, yes, they don't sir. know about that. No, they gonna find out tonight. They gonna find out tonight. <laughs> you gonna learn today. Yeah, we, yeah, we want it to be comfortable. You yeah, know, definitely. Comfortable. You know, we wanted it to be comfortable. So, Christy, did you uh, notice that we have no. one of the four nonprofits that we're gonna be going towards? But let me tell the people a little bit. On Wednesday, you can come as you are when you get off from work, come to Bar Louis, 6 to 9 p.m., be comfortable, get some of those signature drinks that uh, Bar Louis has set up for us. I don't know if y'all checked out the Facebook page and stuff like that, but they got some good stuff out there for they us. Do. They got some good stuff out there for us. And they also, we're going to be doing what is known as Rep Your, Jer Rep Your Team Night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's Rep Your Team Night. So how did y'all come up with the Rep Your Team Night? Every um, month we do a different theme. So we've done different things that have, like I said, have mentioned for different charities. We did one for Broken Men Foundation. We did one for Khaki. And this particular month we wanted to do something a little fun and innovative. So we came up with the idea of the four of us in the group, we just, over conversation, talked about who was our favorite team. Um, mine is Dallas. That's right. <laughs> um, Cowboy Nation. DC exactly. 4L, baby. <laughs> And then Sonia, who's, who's not here, she's part of the group. Um, she's representing the Redskins. Any red, any Deadskins fans in here? <laughs> oh, okay. Chill out. Chill out. Oh, my bad. Just go to coach. Chill out. <laughs> Marcy, who is the third part of the group, she's representing the Steelers. The who? The what? <laughs> oh, you know, we talked about three rivers already. Don't do that. <laughs> and we thought it would be fair for people that did not want to support um, – you know, any particular team to be able to have the option to black out. So the show is representing the, the people that decide to black out. Okay. So, yeah. oh, you know, you know, did you conveniently forget them raggedy John? I mean, those great <laughs> New York football 
Giants I or somebody? I just kind of overlooked them. Ooh. <laughs> Since they lost? No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do <laughs> that. We can't do that? Spe- spe- oh, we got another Giants fan? I mean, uh, especially since if, I mean, if we're doing count, you know, I mean, my my team got some chips in the last few years, and your teams have It's been just, 24 years just, since my just, team got just, some chips. Just played their 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had a lot of practice. That's what it was. You know. Yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of this on Wednesday, Lord. Oh, it's going to be a lot of this on Wednesday. Well, and we want to have some fun. We're going to have some fun with this. There's going to be a lot of people talking about the teens. We're going to be talking about the black eye. We're going to be talking about the kneeling. We're going to be talking about that guy that's sitting up there looking like Heat Miser in the presidency. You know, <laughs> we're going to be doing a little bit of that. But we're also going to sit there and talk about marketing and branding of yourself and your business. Ladies, tell me a little bit about how you all go about doing your marketing and branding. Um, A lot of my um, branding and marketing is basically through word of mouth. Um, I do um, participate a lot in um, social media campaigns, um, but referrals is basically the the meat and potatoes of my business. How about you, Ms. Lajelle? I can ditto that because I do have a nine to five, so (laughs) a lot of my marketing goes through social media as well as word of mouth. Okay, okay. Well, since we do have one of the nonprofits here with us, would you like to go ahead and introduce her and let her tell us a little bit about herself? Yeah, so as I was saying, each lady um, in the group has a charity that they are representing. So all of the Dallas fans will be representing this young lady right here. Dallas, um, this we going to win. This is Yolanda, and she is with Faith Mentoring Services. Um, you want to go ahead and tell them a little bit about what you do? Well, good evening. Good evening. Hi. For me to be um, used to the mic, I'm kind of shy tonight. <laughs> oh, not in the den. This your yes. fam- it's, it's your family here, man. You don't yes. have to be. It's, it's like, yeah. you know, you always get nervous, though. But I'm Yolanda, and I'm the CEO of Faith Mentoring Services. And I have here with me my husband, who is a Giants fan. But due to the fact that he loves his wife and he supports me, he's <laughs> going to be a Cowboys yeah. supporter. Yeah. Booster. Yeah. For he the them. organization, <laughs> oh, he getting the look. He's, yeah. he's a C O O. I got he's... nothing for that one. I, I got he, no, he a I got good man. Nothing. That's a good one. That's, That's a good man. man. That must be a real good woman yeah. to make you yes. change your team. Good one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, honey. To that team too. <laughs> Thank you, honey, for um, I hope you pay him back over. royally for that. <laughs> Real talk. But I just said because he loved his wife. Yes, yes. Love yes. is an action word. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes. 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 So Faith Mentoring, me and my husband um, is originally from New York City. Um, South Jamaica, Queens, and we were a part of an outreach ministry that did um, called two organizations, BAKE as well as um, FAITH. BAKE was um, Brothers Against Killing Each Other, and FAITH was actually called Females Attaining Tech Do Hope. So when we left and departed from New York City and came down here to Richmond, Virginia, we still wanted to move forward with what we have seen in the rural areas, especially um, the different localities, especially um, we moved to Jackson Ward. We didn't know nothing about Virginia. And I first and you went to Jackson Ward? Yes, because, you know, mm. I'm going to say we came from um, a housing development, which is much, much more um, complex than Jackson Ward. <laughs> they used to call say. Jackson Ward I'm going to use, a, I'm gonna use a nice word. True. But to, we've seen a lot south. of things that happen with the youth out there. And my husband and I was um, just networking with different people and just letting them know what we were doing. And then, you know, we um, transitioned over. And as I became a counselor, I started still working with at-risk youth, and I developed this program called Families Attaining Tech Do Hope. And I thought that because of the, as working with at-risk youth in their home, I noticed that they're either the mom is out the home, the um, father's out the home, the caregiver is there, is the grandmother, aunt, sister, sibling, and they are doing their best to um, provide services for their niece, nephew, grandchildren who has mental health or mental illness. And a lot of that is a stigma, and sometimes people don't realize that um, the person, the child, is not the diagnosis. 
they need assistance, they need guidance. So my husband and I decided to just come up with this program and provide mentoring services, um, volunteer mentoring services as our charity because a lot of, uh, we realized that as I was doing my research, most of the youth in both areas, not just Richmond, but Hanover and Henrico do not have Medicaid. And then they cannot have these services. So because they can't have services to provide for their um, loved one to at least have some type of guidance and have a role model and have someone to help them connect to resources within the community, especially dealing with mental health, my husband and I decided to go this route. So we um, provide these services and we decide to provide emotional support and guidance and we want to work on improving education, social and employable skills, build their self-esteem self and self-confidence, improve interpersonal communication skills and develop effective problem solving and decision making skills and to help them establish and maintain healthy relationships with their peers, adult figures, their family mem members and also have access to community resources. Now with our, our goal is Part of our goal is to support, motivate, and empower young people as well as young adults that are facing challenges in their personal, social, and academic lives. And so by, um, by soliciting mentors, we would like adults who can be of any, any, any clergy, any lay member, administrator, teacher, paraprofessional, it doesn't matter what your profession is, we would like you to come to participate. It's a year commitment and we want you to have these skills, which is being a patient listener. We want you to be able to keep confidentiality because they're going to confide in you about some things. Um, we want you to give advice without dictating actions. We want you to encourage independence, yet offer support. We want you to give them constructive criticism as well as compliments. And we want them to be open and, we want you to be open and honest, and we want you to be a good role model through your actions and your words, and be willing to spend the time out to reach out and share with them. And we want that to be a year commitment and just an hour of your day or a weekend to provide these services. Oh, that's that's dope. I mean, that's that's a very, very good platform to make sure that we're taking care of our youth. I mean, I, I listen to the point that you made. A lot of times the very first thing that uh, society wants to do if a kid is a little bit ex excited, wants to put them on medications. They want to yeah. drain them and fill them with drugs to keep them dependent on other things to calm them down. When sometimes all you need to do is talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hey, I mean, that's a wonderful thing. I... Personally, being a, a Dallas Cowboy fan, we'll have two, three jerseys. You know, I'm going to have one for the coach. I'm going to have one for LB. I'm going to have – I wouldn't even give this Pittsburgh fan a jersey because oh. – <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He won for the thumb. Did he do that? You know what? Sit down. Hey. But you know what? Once again, Christy, go ahead and shout out and tell us one more time when we're, when we're going to be there, how long we're going to be there, and what we're going to be doing. Okay, so it's going to be this Wednesday at Bar Louis from 6 to 9. We're going to have games, prizes. We always make it fun. Um, co good conversation, good panel discussion that we'll have going on, and just have a fun atmosphere for everybody. We do have, I just want to make sure that we note all of the charities that are involved. We do have CACI, which is um, College and Career for Youth. Um, that's Marcy's um, nonprofit organization. And again, she's going to be representing the Steelers. <coughs> Um, we have Sowing Seeds, she's going to be represented with um, Lachelle, and then we have JP Jumpers, which will be represented by Sonia, and those will be for the Redskins. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. I know we were out at an event that you put together that we were here at Legacy Internet Radio, we're very, very proud to be in uh, about two weeks ago with Sowing Seeds. Mm -hmm. and. You know, if any of you folks have anything that you all want to say to us, if you need some help and you need some good, strong mentors, you need men and women, we have a whole clan and a family. Awesome. I'd rather say a family because that's what we are here at Legacy Internet Radio, where independence is the key to building your legacy, mm -hmm. which means we can help each and every one with something. Mm -hmm. I do believe that firmly within the bottom of my heart. Yo, thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you for having us. We yeah. appreciate you all coming out. And everybody else, check us out on 
Hashtag brother, sister shenanigans this and every Wednesday. But this Wednesday in particular, we will be at Bar Louis and Short Pump. Guess what? Put your jersey in the car. If not, come be in as clean as I am today. If you get off work and you got your bow tie, you want a bow tie pimp around, oh, ain't nobody mad at it. Lord. You know, we got to get a lady something to look at, you know, except for them ragged. Don't wear that Pittsburgh jersey. Hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> if you wear that Pittsburgh jersey, I swear for goodness. What you what you gonna Yo, do? It might be a Ali. <laughs> it might be a Ali. No, I see a uh -huh. Frazier fight. The Rumble. Or it might be the Rumble in the. We jump. all know who Ali is, though, don't we? Me? No, definitely not. I, I tell Frazier you, I'm lost. Tell you yeah, you exactly. You about yeah. to lose. I'm gonna no, no, just no. say this real quick about Dallas Cowboy fans. They, they they are by far the most annoying fan base. In Thank the, you. In the history of Thank sports. You. Hey, 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 Marcus. In the, in not to me. Not to me. Because them <laughs> fools can go two and fourteen, and on the last day of the season we be back we be yeah. back we be back yeah, we, 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 we gonna be we gonna be good you know it's like come on man like for real but you see know? if you're a true football fan then it doesn't make a you rep if you're a redskins fan you got to be a true hey, look, fan this is this is all i'm gonna say i got a teenager at home and she seen my team win two chips and you got grown daughters and they ain't seen it I don't even like you no more. There for real. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, more. more well, actually, Wednesday. no, no, LB, you're wrong. Because when did the last time the Cowboys won? 95. Exactly. One of mine got to see it. That's no, what's up. Because she was born in September. <laughs> <laughs> right, they wanted to, you know, you know, you got to give them something. You know what I mean? Oh, that's right. They played I'm so in happy. January. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. I'm still cool. ahead of you, you two still to one. Ahead of me. Ah. Yeah. It was so much yeah. sarcasm in that. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. You got it. Hey, Joy, you ain't even helping me out. You just let me dangle. Bruh, I am basketball. <laughs> oh, so you ain't got a dog in the face. But you know what? Know. You can still rep that I, I am basketball and I am proxy Green Bay because of my Boy. because of my baby in the military. That's the only reason. She said by proxy. Yeah. By, by proxy. proxy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she made that joint sound real official. <laughs> real official. <laughs> I ain't hey. got a dog in a fight. I ain't, when, when I ain't seen Subo since I was seven. So I'm, I'm, 30, I'm almost 33 years old. So. I, 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 yeah. Great. Yeah. I, Yo, back to you, LB. Ain't no half step on Marcus J. Live from the Dana Legacy and that radio. I just want to take the opportunity to sincerely thank you all for coming in and sharing, you know, this outstanding and wonderful event. I look forward to being there. Uh, I look forward to, you know, repping my jersey and, and, and repping, you know, you guys and, and and just enjoying you know the the the, the fellowship and the, and the and the networking and just kind of being together one of the things that i really love that i've been able to uh experience just doing radio for the six years that we've been doing it and, and almost five in ownership is i've been able to come across some really really cool people that are doing really cool things you know it's so easy for folks to just get off from work, go home. You know what I'm saying? But you can't work for eight hours for other folks and not spend at least some time working on what's important to you. I, I, I saw that somewhere and I'm sure I completely destroyed the person who ever actually said it, but the spirit of what it was said is, is what I hopefully just relate. So thank you sincerely. I appreciate you guys for coming in and we look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday. Thank you for having us. Absolutely, absolutely. Ain't no half stab on Marcus J. Live from the Den, Legacy Internet Radio. Going to take our first break of the night. When we come back, we're going to have a conversation about the happenings over the last few days, uh, most of which have been uh, bombs dropped figuratively, figuratively by the President of the United States. I'm Marcus J. They the crew. We'll be back in a few. Yo, what's going on, world? It's yours truly, comedian Micah Bam Bam White, and I'm rocking out with you right here on Legacy Internet Radio. You heard it right. Legacy. That means what your life is about. Internet is where you can find it. Radio. That's who we are. Check us out. Peace. <laughs>